Okay, so one thing that pops up on the specialized high school exam are these problems that use symbols. And um, it might seem bizarre at first, but let's just step back for a moment. If I said um, 3 plus 4, you know that what I mean is the combination of these 3 and 4, and we get 7. If I had 10 minus 2, you know to take 10 objects and take two of them away, and you get 8. You know that if I did 5 times 4, you take five groups of four or four groups of five, add them all up, and you get 20. You know that if I did 12 divided by two, you take 12 objects, divide them into two groups, each group then has six things in it. Well, um, we should stop and think for a moment that this and this and this are all just symbols that mean certain things. So if we take that idea and just think of these things as symbols for operations, we can expand that and create any symbol we want. So let's say we use a symbol um, like this. Okay, and we need to keep it general. Let's say A, super symbol, whatever that means, B. What you do is you take 2A and then add B. Now, what they're saying is, okay, instead of writing 2A plus B, I can use this symbol right here. Think of it as an operation. So what we do is this. Let's say we have 3 and this symbol, 4. What do we do? Well, they'll always give you a blueprint, a guideline, right here. So it says 2a. That means 2 times a. Now a will always be the number in front, and b will always be the second number, as it's defined right here. So it's 2 times 3, and then we add 4, because 4 is b. So that means that this whole thing equals 6 plus 4, or 10. Let's try another one. If it was 5, this symbol, and then 3, we would take 2 times a, or 5, and then add 3. And that's 10 plus 3, or 13. Now, some of these can be a bit more complicated. Uh, I think as the, the furthest they really will go with this is to have something like this. Um, so let's say we have a, and then a triangle, b. Maybe that means something like a over 2b plus 3a. Um, <clears throat> so what they would do then is maybe write something like this. 3 triangle, we're using that symbol, and then in parentheses, maybe 4 triangle 2. Okay, so how do we, how do we deal with this? Well, um, whenever you're, you're dealing with some kind of math equation, just remember your order of operations. Um, you deal with what's in the parentheses here first. So we have 4 triangle 2. Let's break that down. Uh, our rule is to take the first number, a, and then divide it by 2 times b, or the second number, plus 3 times the first number. So 4 triangle 2 would just become 4. That's a. And in fact, I'll probably even label it to keep track. Over 2 times 2, which is b, plus 3 times 4. This equals 4 over 4 plus 12, or 4 over 16, and that's 1 fourth. Okay, so now hold on to this number. We go back to our original equation. Now instead of 3 triangle, 4 triangle 2, we have 3 triangle 1 fourth. Now we use the same process. Think of this now as A and this as B. And we use this set of rules right here. So it becomes 3 divided by 2 times 1 fourth. Again, 3 is A, and A goes in the numerator. 1 fourth is B, and it's 2 times 1 fourth, plus 3 times 3. And I'm going to work up here, I'm running out of room. So it becomes 3, 2 times a fourth is a half, plus 3 times 3, which is 9. I can keep going with this. Um, we can combine 1 half plus 9. So think of it as 9 in terms of halves. So that would be 3 over 1 half plus 18 over 2, it's 18 halves, and that gives us our answer, and I guess I'll write all the way over here, it's 3 over, well we have 1 half and 18 halves, that's 19 halves, and we can keep going with this, 19 halves, 2 goes into 19 9 times, and there's 1 9 left over, we could reduce this, we could do all kinds of stuff, um, you can leave it as 3 over 19 over 2, but I'm going to bring this fraction in the numerator, so I'm going to multiply by what's called the reciprocal, 19 over 2 
times 2 over 19 is 1. And then I have to do the same thing up here. So it would be 3 times 2 over 19, and that's our answer, 6 nineteenths. And 19 is prime, so we know we're done. So this will usually be a multiple choice question. And they might not even give you a problem that deals with fractions. But the idea is that you should be able to break this problem down by following the instructions from the symbols. Let's try one more. C and then squiggle D um, equals 2C divided. No, I want to avoid division, avoid fractions, get straight to the point. 2C plus 4D. Okay, so what you might see is 3 squiggle and then parentheses 6 squiggle 2. So remember the order of operations is what we're using and following. So we start with 6 squiggle 2 right here. Our rule is, think of this first number here as C and this one is D. So it's C squiggle D, it'll always be C squiggle D. Is take 2 times C or 6 plus 4 times D or 2 and we get 12 plus 8 which is 20. So now we can rewrite this as 3 squiggle 20 and then we follow the same rules but now we think of this as C and this is D. So what happens is we have 3 squiggle 20 or 2 times 3 plus 4 times 20 and I'm just following my guideline right here. Uh, 2 times C which is 3 plus 4 times D which is 20 so we have 6 plus 80, and our answer here would be 86.